Snowblower injuries, uh, unfortunately, are quite common. There, and um, there's about 7,000 to 10,000 that happen per year. Um, and about two-thirds of them involve fingers. Um, and the common mechanism for this happening is people are trying to clear either the auger, which is the intake, or the, the snow thrower um, portion of the machine as it gets clogged with snow. And the thing that I think is um, deceptive and the reason these injuries happen so often is the, the mechanism is the, the snow blower gets um, stops because it's, it's clogged with snow. However, there's still energy stored in the, the blade. And so when it free, gets freed, it actually can, takes several more rotations. And so what, what happens is um, typically is um, someone's uh, clearing their snow. It gets, uh, the machine stops, gets clogged, and they put their hand in, in the mechanism to try and clean it. And as the uh, snow is freed, the, it starts turning again, and that's when the mechanism happens. Now, so, some of the um, manufacturers have actually begun attaching um, uh, basically a clearing stick to the handle. And, but it, basically, you really should never put your hands in the um, you know, mechanism of a snowblower. And you know, there's also other things that we see which are good um, tips. Um, you should uh, never let uh, children um, be around snowblowers. Um, and also, um, people should always be sober when they're using snowblowers, because those uh, two things also, unfortunately, contribute to accidents that we see a lot.